Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a free downloadable that you can get from my website to print out your own tattoo case. Tattoo cases are traditional origami paper project thingy that's used for holding small things. Traditionally they were used for holding seeds. Um, you can certainly use them for so many different things. They make a great little coaster with a little pinwheel pattern in the middle. Uh, you can use them uh, to hold little letters, little small presents and treats and goodies and such. So, so many uses. And I've been sharing with you guys over the past few days some things that are from my uh, animal print theme. Uh, series and so I kind of put some of those together to make some really fun kind of patterns for you guys to enjoy So there's a zebra one and a leopard one and a cow one and I'm gonna show you guys how to fold this one with the tiger one um, I've already pre-creased it so it'll maybe go a little faster than it should But hopefully if you guys need a little extra help on how to fold this you can slow the video down or check out one of the other Tato case tutorials if you need to um, when you print it out, you just get a nice little square piece of paper, and what we want to do is start off with the color side facing down, and I want to just put some preliminary creases in my paper, so I'm just going to fold it in half both ways, and that'll help make it a little easier so that I can fold up my sides. And what I'm going to do is basically following the pattern that you see underneath, I want to create a fold right here between these two colors. So if I fold over and I hold this part in place, lining up the center crease until I can see right where that color paper pattern is changing, I can begin the crease on either side, make sure this is straight, and then smooth this whole area out. And that's how you can make sure that you get a good crease right there that's straight. Then we're just going to take this flap and fold it straight out so that we get a creased edge that's even with the center. And then I'm going to take that edge and fold it straight up to the top. And that creates that neat little effect for the pinwheel in there if you want to use that. And then I just kind of open this up just once. I don't need to open the tip, but I just want to fold it out a bit. And then I'm going to go around and do the same thing for the remaining sides here. And that'll make it easier for when I need to collapse everything down into the final little pattern. And since I've pre-creased this, I'm just kind of going through it a little quickly. But it's uh, basically just folding all these parts out so that we can get, in the end, something that looks like this. And then you just choose one of the sides, it doesn't matter which, but we're just going to fold up. And then because I want to make sure to eliminate the QR code and the logo here, I'm going to actually go to the left and go uh, rotate things counterclockwise so that I can get that part to be underneath so that we don't see it ever. So I'll get all the way over here to the last one. And then you can see like with the QR code, we're gonna tuck that underneath. So I'm just gonna hold here on the side and lift up from underneath the opposite part. Push down. This part's a little weird for just a second, but push down gently and it will find its way to turn itself inside out. So just keep going with it. Let this kind of poof open for a bit while you do that. And then just gently really return everything back down. And sometimes you'll notice like this, it'll do that where the flap will pop out, just push it down again so that you get this nice pinwheel pattern in the middle. And that's how you make a taco case. And like I said, there's the tiger one, the cow one, the leopard one, and the zebra one all available for you guys to download free from my website. Uh, there's a link in the description below. You can also click on the little information circle throughout the video. Click on that and a little box will pop open to take you to my website as well. And, um, you know, like I had said, I have these kind of in a series, so if you're having a party or celebration, you can have all these parts match. Um, if you happen to know somebody who's just a really big fan of cows, you know, then you can have all these fun little cow print things that you can share with them. Um, so yeah, I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!